everyone. Today I am decorating my home office for Christmas. I do work from home full time so I spend the majority of my day in this room and I absolutely love the Christmas decorations that I put up in here. This is my space to do whatever I want so I love making it as girly and colorful as possible. I totally channel my inner Eloise from Eloise at the Plaza when it comes to decorating this room. Behind me is the Christmas tree that I put up every single year. It is a really pretty pre-lit white Christmas tree that I got for around $30 a few years ago from a store called $5 Deals. It is held up really nicely. Unfortunately, we did have a slight issue with some of the lights this year. This top strand of white lights did not want to work. My husband and I spent hours trying to get them to work. Nothing was working. So I went to Target, bought a new strand of lights, put them on the tree, and hated them. The light color wasn't the same. The light strand color was a darker gray, so it just really stood out. My husband could tell that I didn't like it, so he was determined to fix the pre-existing lights. And bless his heart, whenever he's determined to do something, he gets it done, so I had no doubt that he would be able to fix the lights. He spent three days, watched countless YouTube videos, went out and bought a special tool, and finally got them working. So all of the lights are in working order. I did add some pink lights that I picked up from Walmart. They kind of look purple on camera, but they are pink, and I just love how fun and girly that is. We also went ahead and put the garland on and the tree topper, so now all I have to do today is the fun part of decorating the tree, which is adding the ornaments. So that's the tree. Down here I have all of my ornaments. These are newer. I think I got them last year, maybe the year before. I love the blue because my walls are blue in this room, so I think those are really pretty. Over here I have some boxed ornaments and then down below are some loose ornaments. And then this box is just random decorations for this room. I have some fun stencil trees, I have some wall decor. I think I got this last year right after Christmas during the Christmas clearance sale. A fun Santa hat and some other items and some things that just pertain to my home office. So Christmas cards for the Christmas card exchange and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating the tree. I think I'm gonna start with these ornaments down here. So let the fun begin. I didn't end up putting every single ornament from these packages on the tree. The tree is kind of small and I have a lot of ornaments that I really love so I want to make sure I have plenty of room for them so I just put a few of those on. I thought before I add all the ornaments to the tree I would talk to you about a few of my favorites. I do film this video every single year and I feel like I always talk about the same ornaments so I'm going to try and switch up a little bit this year and talk about a few different ones. This first one I really love. This is a new ornament. Last year for Christmas my parents gave me a green margarita maker so this is to go along with that and I think it is so adorable. I have learned that I really love Starbucks ornaments. I have a ton of them. I have the entire set of the Starbucks You Are Here mugs from the Disney Park. So we have Magic Kingdom, uh, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. So I have all of those. This one is one that my mom made a while back. Um, I have the Disney uh, Disneyland, I think it was for their 60th, 50th, I'm not sure. Um, I have this Starbucks ornament, I have this glass one that has the Disney parks on the back, and then this one is new this year. It is the plastic tumbler with the Disney parks on the back. Love that, I think that is so cute. I love this little trailer ornament. This is new. I got this from, I want to say Kirkland's last year at the end of Christmas when they had their big clearance sale. This is one of my favorites. I talk about this one every year, I think. Uh, this was one that was on my childhood tree. I always got it out of the box and put it on my side of the Christmas tree where I sat every Christmas and opened my gifts and my parents gave it to me when I got married and moved out and I just love having that one. It's just so special. I love this camera ornament that my friend Amanda from YouTube sent me. Her channel is Amanda W. I'll link it below. Definitely go check her out. She has all kinds of fun holiday videos going on her channel right now as well. Um, some fun Santas. I love this Cindy Lou Who ornament. I love The Grinch. I absolutely love How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It is one of my favorite movies. I definitely hope to add some more Grinch ornaments to my collection because I just really love them. Um, I have some pretty ornaments over here. This ornament, um, I might, one of my friends in high school, I think, I think it was in high school, she went to Japan as a foreign exchange student and she brought this back for me. So I 
keep it and I just put it on my tree every year and think of her. So those are a few of my favorites. And now I'm going to finish decorating the tree. I would do a time lapse for the whole thing, but it's probably going to take me hours because I put ornaments on, I take them off. I put them on, I take them off. Are you guys like that? I have to make sure that the placement is perfect. After a little over two hours, I think I'm officially done decorating my office tree. Here's an overview. I didn't get every single ornament that I have on the tree, but I did get all of my favorites, which makes me very happy. I like when ornaments are spaced out so you can see every single one of them, so I think it turned out really well this year. On the bottom for my Christmas tree skirt, I just have a piece of pink sparkly fabric that I got from Joann's. Over here are all the ornaments that I did not use this year. These are just kind of filler ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this area and start decorating the rest of my office. I removed all the items from the surfaces I plan on decorating and then down here I laid out everything that I'm working with this year. Not a whole lot, I hope to add a few more things soon, but this is what I have currently. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this and see what I come up with. Here's an overview of what I have so far. I'm definitely not loving this. I think I need to get rid of a few things, maybe purchase a few new things, keep moving some stuff around. I just, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks right now. Over here I have this cute pink and white Santa with his Merry Christmas sign. I actually just remembered that I had this Santa. I purchased him at Michael's after Christmas clearance sale last year with the intent on putting him in my filming room because I was going to decorate my filming room, but I decided not to decorate it this year. So I just grabbed him and put him in here. So like I said, I'm going to have to keep playing around with this. But I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if any of you had this or if any of you remember this, but I absolutely loved this little set when I was little. It is from Avon. Here's the box. I don't know if this will spark your memory. Uh, but that's what it looked like. I love this thing when I was a little kid. When my mom would get this out of our Christmas bins, that was like the official start of the holiday season for me because this was the only thing I put in my room when I was young. And I loved having it on my nightstand. I just thought it was so fun. I played with it every night. I've had it um, with me ever since I've gotten married. I've just never displayed it. But I was feeling a little nostalgic, so I went ahead and got it out and set it up. Like I said, not sure if I'll keep it out, but... I just wanted to display it because I thought it was fun and I don't know, I'm just feeling nostalgic this year. One of the last things I'm going to do to make my office fun and festive is wrap a few gifts and put them under the tree. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love when a Christmas tree has a ton of gifts underneath it. So I'm just going to go ahead and stuff some empty bags and wrap some empty boxes and make it look nice and pretty and have the illusion of being full of gifts, even though it's not really. So some of you may remember this line from Target last year. I fell in love with it. They have all kinds of really pretty bags. Um, I love that box. Love this bag, so cute. These are my favorite, love these. And then this larger one down here that matches the box. And I just have some pink tissue and I'm gonna grab some white tissue and stuff the bags. And then I also picked up some of the matching wrapping paper last year. I had planned on wrapping a few boxes last year but I never got around to it so I went ahead and saved a few. So I'm gonna wrap those, put some matching bows on them and make it look really fun and festive. While I'm decorating my office, I am listening to a Pentatonix Christmas album on my phone on Amazon Music. I love Pentatonix. I think that they are so amazing, so talented. If you haven't heard their Christmas albums, you need to go check them out. They're so good. But I was thinking, what do you guys prefer doing while you're decorating? Do you like to listen to Christmas music or do you like to put on a Christmas movie? My husband and I debate this all the time because I like listening to Christmas music and he likes having a Christmas movie on while we decorate. I feel like if a movie's on or a show is on, I just want to sit down and watch it and I can't get anything done. If I'm listening to Christmas music, I'm in the spirit, I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm really enjoying it and I feel like I get so much more accomplished when I have music on. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you prefer while you're decorating for Christmas? Do you like to listen to music or do you like to have a movie on? Here's a look at my finished Christmas tree. I think it looks so much better with all the wrap gifts underneath it. I love this line from Target. It is the perfect color scheme for my office. It looks so great underneath my white Christmas tree. Now that the gifts are wrapped and underneath the tree, I'm officially done decorating my home office. I started decorating around 4 p.m. and it is just now 9.30, so I've been working for five and a half hours, but I think it's worth it because everything came together really nicely. If you enjoyed this Decorate With Me vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment 
comment letting me know if you prefer decorating while listening to Christmas music or a Christmas movie. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.